In this new video, I want to show how to use local storage with Blazor WebAssembly to save data in the storage of the browser. One way to have data persist across sessions in a client-side Blazor WebAssembly application is to write to the browser's local storage, or session storage collection. This will allow the user to refresh or reopen the page, and have the same experience as when they last left off. Though this video will not be storing sensitive data, it is good practice to encrypt stored data. I will be using the Blazor local storage package. Simply install it via the package manager console. To use the Blazor local storage package, you must register its service with your application service collection in your project's program.cs file. Now that the service is configured, Go ahead and import the package's namespace in the project's underscore imports, Razor file. This will allow you to use the package in all your Razor components without having to explicitly add a using directive for each component. You are now ready to begin writing data to the browser's local storage collection. Open page index.razor and write the following code. To begin using Blazor local storage, Inject an instance of the desired service into your page. At the top of index razor. This will display a text area field that will contain the content of the note. There is also a save button, which will be used to write to the browser's local store, and a clear button which will clear all locally stored data. Now, declare a string variable to hold the contents of the text area element, and create the event handlers that will correspond to each button's onclick event.
To write an item to local storage asynchronously using Blazor.local storage, you will use a key value structure. Where local store corresponds to the name you assigned, when injecting the instance, and key and value are both strings. Blazor.local storage also includes convenient methods for clearing individual items by key. In order for the application to populate the text area with the value stored in local storage, you must override the pages on initialized method. Specifically, to read the value asynchronously, override the async method on initialized async. In this method, you should assign the stored value to the binding variable you are using for the text area element, in this case note content. 